According to Mr. Mirage, the Service Commissions came into being to insulate public officials from political influence. He admits that while these institutions may not always operate with the most efficiency, they are important to our democracy. What you are dealing with here is the very democracy of Trinidad and Tobago. People must understand that our commissions are possibly <laughs> the last standing um, um, uh, forces um, that, that can protect our democracy. And as I said before, we're talking about judges, we're talking about the police service, we're talking about teachers, uh, principals, and so on. He tells TV6 that there is a need for open dialogue. If we are going to go in that re uh, direction, and I am not saying that we shouldn't, but we need proper discussion. And we have to understand the implications of it. He suggests a re-examination of the Constitution. He believes the Parliament should play a role in the appointment of these independent offices. Whether it be a constitution or any other name that you, you want to call. But our Parliament really does not have a role. We must have hearings. We must see who it is being appointed. You know, a general kind of approval um, um, of, of these officers. So we've got to look at the widespread larger issue of constitutional reform before we really tackle this thing in any satisfactory way. Last weekend, at the PNM Sports and Family Day in Toko, Dr. Keith Rowley said he planned to abolish the country's four service commissions by next year and replace them with one tribunal. Nicole M. Romani, TV6 News.